Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I didn't know it was Friday until about 10 minutes ago. And so now I am doing a Friday Reads video, which I wasn't going to do right now. But hence, here we is. So I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I'm going to be reading, but also some of the stuff I took with me on my trip so you can see what I was up to. Now, um, first off, let me start with these. Um, I am going to be reading and rereading and rereading a couple of chapbooks. These guys right here. Because these are coming out this month and I need to go through them and make sure that they are perfect and that there are no problems with them at all. So, Bunny Wilds, The Potato Manifesto, and my Los Angeles. So, um, I need to go through. And a lot of times, I'll edit something. I'll edit the fuck out of it, I think. Print it out. And then after I print it out, I find all these fucking mistakes. So, um, I'm probably going to do that. Another thing is... Um, the new blood rag, which, um, I'm not even going to show it to you guys yet. Um, cause I already found something on it. it, it the second I printed it out, like it was seriously like I printed it out while it was in the printer. I saw something and I'm like, Oh my fucking God. So, um, I'm going to need to fix that. But, um, back to normal Friday reads and what I took with me on my trip. Let's get into it. So, one of the things I took on my trip, which shouldn't be a shocker to anybody, is Conspiracy Against the Human Race by Thomas Ligotti. As you can see, um, that's how far into the book I am with notes. And there's still quite a bit left. And so, I was just going through um, the parts of uh, that I'm going to be doing videos on here shortly. And, you know what's funny... People really don't talk to me when I go out. The people who do end up talking to me, it's usually such a weird fucking thing. Like, when I go out with people, like my friends and stuff, the women will always say how weird it is that when they go out with me, nobody approaches them. Whereas if they were to go out with other people or by themselves or whatever, motherfuckers come out to them all the time and talk to them. So sometimes that is a nice break for people to, when they're hanging out with me. But other times, um, I think especially in social situations, it's really annoying. Because for some fucking reason, I go to a fucking place. Even a place like the that film group I'm a part of. Like, I'll go to that thing and like maybe two people who I've known for years will come up and talk to me. Um, but pretty much other than that, like nobody approaches me and there obviously have been exceptions to that rule. And I'm probably just as bad because I could probably be going up and talking to people too, but it's fucking hard work, dude. Um, I'm not the most social person in the world. So anyway, the reason why I'm telling this ridiculously long fucking stupid story is because there were a bunch of us, like, when you go to the pool, I get in, in the video you saw, there was the pool that had, like, the chairs in the pool and um, the bar was right there. There's another pool that's, like, just, like, a big-ass fucking pool. With no bar, no nothing. We went over there to, like, kind of swim and just, like, hang out or whatever. But there were so many people there by that point. Getting, like, the lounge chairs was, like, impossible. Um, and we could find, like, two, maybe three. But, like, that's it. Unless you wanted to be, like, way on the other side of shit. Like, not anywhere near the pool. So we were kind of like taking turns, like using these lounge chairs. 
that we found right next to the pool. I think there was only two of them. There were two of them, and we were taking turns, and there's people everywhere or whatever. So I'm in the pool. I get out of the pool, and nobody's talking. So I'm like, okay, cool. I sit down on the lounge chair. The second I sit down, the people to the left of me start trying to have a conversation with my buddy sitting on the other side of me. And I'm like, oh, God, no. Oh, like, no, 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 no. And it was, I, I honestly don't even fucking remember what they were talking about. So, like, I, like, like went through my bag real quick, found my glasses, and I pulled this out, and I was like... Like, as soon as, like, other humans started talking... And I'm like, okay, can't they see the name of this book? Can't they see the, like, don't they know that, like, no one's supposed to be talking to me? Like, don't they understand? Like, I did this whole fucking thing. And sure as shit, like, within, like, a minute, the conversation was done. They were going about their business. And I put the book down and took my glasses off. Because I actually did try to read it while they were talking. And, like, I couldn't concentrate on anything. I was just like, why the fuck are these strangers talking to me? Or talking towards me. Like, are, are they expecting me to engage in this conversation? That's fucking crazy. I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm in a little tiny, un, like, underwear bathing suit thing. Why, why would they be talking to me right now? Uh, I'm soaking wet. Have they no shame? <laughs> I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah, so I took that and tried to get some reading done in it. And I got a very small amount. Another book I took with me was the last one of the Pocket Poet series books I got. Frank O'Hara's Lunch Poems. And I'm going to be doing a um, review of this very shortly. I actually wanted, I was hoping I would already have it done and out by now, but um, that has not happened. And then this book I'm going to show you. This book is a book I take with me every time I go anywhere. Like, like it's more than, like, an afternoon. So if I'm going somewhere, like, overnight or something like that, I take this book with me. And I think the only reason why... Well, it's not the only reason why, but the main reason why is because it fits in this one weird pocket I have on my backpack. But The Mathematics of the Breath and the Way on Writers and Writing by Charles Bukowski. With this lovely R. Crumb cover. Um, this book is great. Uh, mainly, it has um, a few different sections in it. And it's so funny, because as you can see with my um, markers on here, I always reread this first part and, like, meditate on it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this time I tried to read, like, later in the book. Okay, so basically, you have a great introduction by... Um, David Stephen Cologne. And then you have Bukowski's Manifesto upon mathematics and the breadth of the way. It's really good. Um, then you have a bunch of tales. Um, and a lot of them are uh, bits from Notes of a Dirty Old Man. Not necessarily the book, but like the actual columns that he wrote. And just like little things a lot of it is talking about other writers and stuff so it's kind of interesting especially if you know about his life and everything like that and then you have this great bit introductions and criticism so good and then some interviews and then you have uh bukowski artwork at the beginning of each um section so for me, the like the introductions and criticism is great because a lot of those are introductions to other people's books that he wrote. And a lot of those books are out of print, extremely hard to find. So getting that stuff is really, really cool. And again, the manifesto is amazing. So usually what I do is I read the manifesto. I might read one or two of the tales in the beginning. I've, I've read this book so many fucking times, dude. Um, but then I'll like hit the um, introductions and criticism. And I don't really read the reviews because usually 
people ask shit questions and you already know the answers to them. So, but, um, I don't know why I just always take that book. And I remember one time I took, I took, um, the bell tolls for no one. And I, it was, a, a where was I fucking going? can't remember where I was going. I, I was flying somewhere. I was on an airplane. And there were, I think, two, two or three stories in this book of him on an airplane. And um, I was drunk. I was drunk on an airplane because I'm freaking out about being on an airplane. I don't like being in a narrow metal tube thousands of feet in the air. Um, I'm claustrophobic at the best of times, and now I'm being hurtled through time and space in a toilet paper roll made out of aluminum foil. Like, none of this sounds appealing to me. And I'm reading a bunch of stories while drunk on a plane about him being on a plane. And for some reason, that just made my whole life flash before my eyes in the sense of I thought I was tempting fate being on a plane scared thinking I'm going to die reading stories about a dude on a plane who is also afraid and um, I just I, I'm like okay this is it like I, I have jinxed this whole flight we are all doomed um, but you know I'm here talking to you so obviously that didn't happen but um, when you are claustrophobic and intoxicated um, you say and do stupid things so anyway um, so that book also fits nicely in the pocket that I'm talking about and you guys are like that's just a fucking normal size paperback of course that would fit in the pocket you're talking about it's not just that it's the width of this a lot of um, mass market paperback size books are either half the size of this or twice the size of this. And when I put the smaller size books in that pocket, they end up like getting like bent or like I notice little creases right here and that freaks me out. But these are thick enough to withstand the pressure from that. But also the bigger mass market paperbacks I have don't even fit in the pocket. So these are just perfect, the perfect size. And um, so, yeah, this is one of my go-to books whenever I'm doing anything. But um, I don't know. So those are the books I took. Um, that was most of the reading I did. And, yeah, so um, with that said, I'm going to be reading more of the Thomas Ligotti book. I'm going to be reading some H.P. Lovecraft. I'm going to be reading the chat books that might be it unless i get that package in the mail today if my book comes today that i ordered um all plans go out the window and i start reading that but um because of the heat wave in los angeles my mailman is what we are now calling um much slower i don't think the mail got here last night until nine o'clock at night so anyway what are you guys reading this weekend? Um, do any of these books sound good? Have you read any of these? Are you looking forward to these? Because you fucking should be. Let's just be real here. So, um, yeah. So I guess I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.